One of the craziest things about being a blockchain developer is that you have open access to a brand new financial ecosystem where you can create your own trading bots and make you passive income while you sleep. Now, there's multiple ways to do this, but one way is to create a crypto sniper bot where you can get in on new coins early before other people. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about how to create today in this video as a blockchain developer myself who's built multiple profitable trading bots. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to level up your blockchain skills so that you can pull off exactly what I'm talking about in this video, then I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to create a crypto sniper bot so that you can buy new coins before other people. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video about, you know, making a million dollars off of a meme coin, how I tracked some traders who did this on chain with the Grok token, how one trader, you know, invested just a few thousand dollars and turned it into a million dollars and another uh, made $50,000 off a mere $50 investment. So what's the common denominator between both of these traders? They got in on a brand new coin that absolutely blew up and they were some of the first buyers. Now, I talked in this video, how about you can do some of this stuff manually, but you kind of have to stay glued to a screen all day, all right, and then be first. But what if you could create a bot that completely automates that process so that you don't have to be sitting at your screen and you can programmatically buy these coins and be the first buyers before other people? Well, that's exactly what creating a crypto sniper bot's all about. So how do you do this? Well, let's break it down step by step. So step one is you need to have a mechanism that buys and sells, okay? So basically, if you look at our flow here, you're going to have a wallet that's connected to your bot that's going to be coded out in JavaScript, and it's going to connect straight to this blockchain. So what you have to understand is these coin launches that I'm talking about are happening on the blockchain itself, okay? So like the Grok token that I talked about, it's a token that lives on top of the Ethereum blockchain, and it started trading on DEXs first, like Uniswap, not a centralized exchange like Binance, for example. So you need to be talking directly to the blockchain and looking at these tokens that are launching on DEXs, all right? And the main DEX that you're going to want to use for this is Uniswap, all right? So the first thing that you need to do to get this bot to work is to create a script that's going to run all the time. That's your bot, all right? It needs to have three things. It needs to hold your wallet, all right? It needs to be able to communicate with the blockchain, and it needs to be able to swap on a DEX like Uniswap. So let's take that down step by step. So first of all, you know, your bot here is going to be written in JavaScript. So it's going to be written in Node.js. All right. So you'll create a new Node.js application. And that Node.js application needs to hold your wallet, actually store your private key. So you can create a new wallet, something like MetaMask, but you're going to need to save that private key in your app. Now, I don't recommend you use a private key that you're going to hold any other crypto in, like your long-term hold, because if it ever got compromised, well, you'd lose everything. Okay. So you can save that private key with a library like Ethers.js. You basically take your private key, put in Ethers.js, and it saves your wallet so that you can sign transactions to buy the coins, all right? So you got a node script, you've got that in there, and now you need to be able to talk to Uniswap. So all you have to do is figure out how to create um, a, a trade on Uniswap. You need to be able to buy a coin and sell a coin. And thankfully, the Uniswap documentation tells you exactly how to do that uh, with their software developer kit. You basically can just use their RPC interface plug in your wallet, and then boom, you can buy and sell on Uniswap. All right, so the next thing you need to do with your bot is actually figure out when new tokens are listing for trading, okay? So your bot is going to be listening to the blockchain to do all this type of stuff, but it needs to find out about new tokens before they actually go live or before other people start trading on them. So in the video I put out a couple of weeks ago, I talked about, you know, DEX tools and how you can see all the new liquidity pools or all the trading pairs that are going live in real time on their website. But thankfully, you can actually get access to this information with an API. So you can basically make a web request inside your bot. Okay, so your bot's going to call to an API that's going to get this list of tools so you don't have to look it up on a website. So you can see Dex Tools API here. You're actually going to go more to the new version of Dex Tools. You can see that on api.dextools.io forward slash docs. Just click on the new link and that will take you to exactly uh, where you want to see the new endpoint that's going to let you define the new liquidity pairs. Basically, you can pull it every second and you can find every one that's coming in. Now that's going to give me information like the smart contract address for the pool and also the token. And so once you've got that, then you can execute the trade. And I've kind of got a sample uh, code script of exactly that right now. So basically this is just running. It basically looks for a pool every second and it fetches the latest pools and then, you know, does some business checking inside the application to see if I want to purchase something like that. Okay. So one thing you have to understand is somebody commented about this in the last video. 
you have to be careful with new pairs that are hitting the blockchain because you know, there's a lot of coins that are either honeypots or rug pulls, okay? And I promise you, if you try to buy every single coin that hits the blockchain, you're going to lose all your money. So you always have to be very careful with this type of thing. So how can you protect yourself and then basically, you know, reduce the risk that you're buying something that's an absolute scam that you're, you're going you're gonna to blow up on? So you can't do that perfectly, but what you want to do is reduce the number of times that could possibly happen. And you want to safeguard your bot to where it only buys and sells based on the conditions that you set. So there are a couple different things that you can do. Uh, number one is you can actually implement security checks into your tokens before you try to purchase. Them. So you can use an API like Go Plus Security. So they have an endpoint where you can look at uh, the token security data. So you can pass it the smart contract address and it will tell you, uh, you know, whether it has different you know, aspects, like is the contract verified? Can you actually buy and sell the token? Is there an excessive buy sell tax? Is it a honeypot? Is there a known scammer with the same address who's deployed the blockchain before, and you can implement these business rules, say if it, if it passes all these check marks, then yes, you can buy that token. And so you can see I've got an example of that in my script here. Basically, I have a list of security rules that I've implemented, and if it passes all those security checks, then it will execute the trade. And so that's going to help you figure out basically if, if the likelihood whether it's a scam token or not. Now, another thing you can check for is the actual liquidity of the trading pair. Now, one really common thing for new coins is that they're rug pulls. So basically, the coin launches, people provide liquidity Uniswap, and then they pull it out where you can't actually sell it anymore because there's nothing to sell or there's nothing, there's no liquidity for you to sell into. So you, if you look on Dex Screener, you can see this little lock, okay? So that, that basically means that there's liquidity that's going to be locked for a certain amount of time. So that's going to increase the trust score in this coin. Now, not everything, but it's an additional security check that you can look into. So the service that you can use for that is Unicrypt, okay? So this is one of the most popular services people use to lock liquidity for DEX launches to increase the trust that, you know, the liquidity is not going to go away if people buy the token. So what you can do inside your application is you can actually track the Unicrypt contract to see if the liquidity is locked and then check that inside your bot before you execute a trade. And then you have this nice long set of uh, list of security measures that's going to help you weed out potential bad projects. And you're going to weed out a lot of stuff. It's not going to execute a lot of stuff. But what you're going to do is filter out of those projects that may have a chance at actually working out. And then when you basically have, you know, detected a token, a new pool, and you've gone through security checks, that's when you can decide whether or not you want to make the trade. So again, you're going to do this programmatically inside your Node.js script. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your private key. All right. You're going to sign the transaction to actually execute the trade on Uniswap, and then you'll have the coin. So again, you can look at the Uniswap documentation that shows you an example uh, request that you can do in JavaScript to actually execute the trade just like this, all right? And what you're going to want to do here is that's the trade to get into the trade, all right? You also have to get out of the trade and take profit. So what you can do inside your bot, you can basically uh, set rules to where, I mean, you might just want to buy it and hold on to it and just watch what happens. But if you're doing a quick in and quick out type situation, then you want to take some type of uh, set some type of take profit rules, whether it's a 2x, whether it's a 5x, whether it's a 10x, um, you need to, you know, set those rules inside your application and then actually do the trade to get out of it. You have to approve the token first, and then you have to actually execute the trade to get your token back that you want to trade from. And one thing to understand is if you're trading a very small amount of money, uh, you're trading on the Ethereum main chain, then basically you have to be able to cover the gas fees with your profit. So if you invest a small amount of money, and you decide to take profits at 2x, well, that may not act profitable. You probably have to wait for multiple uh, x's in order to get any type of profit off of a small investment. All right, so that's an overview of how to create a crypto sniper bot so that you can find new coins on the blockchain and get in on them before other people, okay? You could spend all day staring at a computer screen trying to do this manually, or you could cut out a bot that does this uh, and looks for coins while you sleep, all right? So if you want to see a breakdown of actually how to create something like this, then definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. And after you leave that comment, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the skills that you need to pull off exactly what I'm talking about, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. The next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.